way through on Sunday. Let me tell you, get in this thing or get out of this thing because we are going on with revival. I'm feeling to tell somebody something. Get out of the boat, but don't abandon ship. Get out of the boat, but don't abandon ship. Uh, I feel like preaching. You are welcome. Sister Tammy, but it may not be happening in the physical realm, but you have no idea what your prayer and your fasting has done in the midst of the spirit. Let me help somebody and tell you there's an explosion in the Holy Ghost. The only time hell comes is when he's scared to death of what we're about ready to tap into. I told Pastor today, and I'm going to tell every one of you, get a blessing off the devil. If he says you're going to be sick in your body, that means there's healing coming down the line for you. If the devil tells you that you're not going to have revival in this church, we're going to have revival. If the devil tells you you're never going to be happy, that means happiness is on its way. Woo! Sometimes I think the best place for us to get a blessing is off of the devil. Because he talks to us sometimes more than God does. But let me tell you, we need to have a 180 on the devil. If he says no, God says yes. If the world says no, God says yes. If there's no healing, the devil says, there is healing for your soul. Somebody give God some praise in this house. Who I'm talking to. I'm just maybe just setting some things straight in the atmosphere of this church. But we have got to believe. We have got to pray and fast for our believing. God, help me to believe that there's revival. Help me, God, to believe that my kids are coming back. God, help me to believe with every fiber of my being that there's something happening. we're so bombarded with spirits and situations the answer is very simple is God before you if God be for me you missed it if God be for me who can be against me if God is before me I'm walking in his shadow I'm walking behind him and I'm not afraid because he's in charge he prayed over me and he said such and such why isn't it happening? Any unforgiveness in your life? A bitter spirit is what holds a ministry of faith back. Because you can't move into the realm of love. The gifts work by love. And you cannot work in the realm of love while you have bitterness in your heart. with it. Noah was a drunk. Abraham was too old. Isaiah was a daydreamer. Jacob was a liar. Leah was too ugly. Moses had a stuttering and anger issues. Gideon was too afraid. Samson had long hair and was a womanizer. Rahab was a prostitute. Jeremiah and Timothy were too young. David had an affair and he was a murderer. Elijah was suicidal. Elisha was bald. Isaiah preached naked. Jonah ran from God. Naomi was a widow and was bitter. Job went bankrupt. Peter denied the Lord and had a foul mouth. The disciples fell asleep during prayer meeting. Martha worried about everything. Mary and Magdalene, well, we just won't go there. The Samaritan woman divorced more than once. And Zacchaeus was too small. And Paul was too religious. And Lazarus was dead. Hey, but God chose to use every single one of them. What's your problem? God's not afraid of our limitations. I like seeing, I, forgive me, I like seeing the failures of my fellow heroes because it makes me feel a lot better that God, I don't got to be perfect. I just got to walk the walk and I got to talk the talk and I got to move and I got to press and I got to pray and I got to repent. But God will provide. I'm standing 
been flat-footed in this church and telling you, I don't have everything right in my life. And you know what? Neither do a lot of you. But you know what? I'm going somewhere. Because God in his grace and in his mercy has prophesied something to me. And I'm going for it. Behold, I send you the promise of the Father upon you, but tarry ye into the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power. Come on high. It was not in Rome. It was not in Ephesus. It was not in Corinth. It was in Jerusalem that he said, I'm going to place my name in Jerusalem, and he's going to place his name in me, and he's going to put his spirit in me. I got the name. I got the spirit. God has filled us with his power. 